Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. My name is Priscilla and this is my husband Aquila. We're tent makers and we're also friends with Paul the Apostle who also happens to be a tent maker. In addition to being tent makers, we're also storytellers and our favorite story to share is the gospel. And how we got to be storytellers is a story in itself. We met Paul in Corinth and traveled with him to Ephesus. During our travels, he trained us in stories about the gospel, about God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So now, over time, we're going to share those stories with you because we love you and we want to share the good news of the gospel with you. Just like we did a long time ago in Corinth. And again in Rome. We're opening our church home to you as believers. And we hope and pray that you open your hearts and hear the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So pull up a pillow, <laughs> sit back, and relax and hear about the wonderful plans he has for you. Well, today's story, kids, and Libby Lou. Thank you. Is called The Good Shepherd, David the Shepherd King from Psalms 51, 2 Samuel 7, and uh, a little bit from Psalm 23, I suppose. Oh. So it goes, David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he was. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Full of love. Yep. Now that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. Oh dear. He even murdered a man. What? No, David made a big mess of his life, but oh God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. That's pretty amazing. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Mm -hmm. Make me clean inside. Mm -hmm. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David. And one day, a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. Wow, that's really cool. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? He just does everything now, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Yeah, in fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 what? of his charts if they had been invented by then. Uh -huh. David's songs are like prayers. They're called psalms. Oh. And this is one of them, the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the psalms chart. <laughs> and it goes like this. God is my shepherd, and I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He guides me. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside my heart is very quiet. As quiet as lying still in the soft grass, in a meadow, by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark and scary places, I won't be afraid. Oh. Because my shepherd knows who I am and where I am. Mm -hmm. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. Oh. He rescues me yeah. and makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up 
unbreaking always and forever love will go to. God gave David that song to sing to his people so that they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd looks after his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. A greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. Hmm. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. Oh, I like that. That's very reassuring. <laughs> yes, it is. The end. <laughs>